If you have a Z900, you probably already know that the seat is absolutely miserable from factory. Even though it's one of those things that you can technically kind of get used to after a while, I don't want to get used to my bike. If I don't ride it for like seven days or something, I don't want to hop on the bike and have my butt go numb after like 10 minutes in the saddle. So check it out. What I've got for the Z900 is I've got this gel insert. No, this is not ballistics gel. Well, actually, it might be ballistics gel. Feels kind of similar to it. Huh, I wonder if this is ballistics gel. Well, anyway, this is going to go in there. And we're gonna fix this problem. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Oh, yeah, that's carbonated. So here we have one Kawasaki torture device. If you ride a Z900, you know exactly what I am talking about. Very thin foam. Painful, painful, painful to ride. There's really no aftermarket seats really available. If there are any available, it's gonna be from a high-end retailer, or Corbin or something like that. And I don't really wanna pay four or $500 for a seat. So we're gonna fix this one. Tools you will need couple of variable sized flathead screwdrivers, one seat, and some ballistics gel. And then I've also got a little bit of foam. This I ordered from, I think, eBay. They call this sewing foam. This is very similar to like the headliner of what you would have in your vehicle. There's a light piece of foam on one side and there's fabric on the other side. So it's foam, it's very thin, but it's durable. Now you can use this at any size that you would like. I found the thinnest piece of foam that I could find just because I really don't want to change how high the seat sits. So I think this is like a two or a three millimeter so foam. And this is just a gel insert, a motorcycle seat gel insert. Now you can get these from, I can't remember the name of the company, Gold something or other. They're expensive. They're like $80 for a piece of foam or $80 for a piece of gel. There are other companies on eBay that have the exact same gel, and I think I paid $9 or $15 for this piece of gel. The way this procedure works, step one, we gotta get all of these little staples out from underside of the seat. And really, we don't wanna damage this. There are aftermarket seat covers. If you wanna go that route, I'm sure there's some nice ones out there, but I just wanna keep mine stock. Now basically, once you have your general area laid out and the piece that you'd like cut to fit, then we're going to make a series of tiny cuts. I'm just using that much blade and I'm just going to do like a crisscross section. Now that we've got our crisscross pattern cut into this, just be really careful when you're doing the cuts that you do not go more than the, the thickness of whatever gel pad you're using. I would normally use that much on the blade, but I couldn't get a straight cut by going directly across like that. So what I did is I extended the blade a little further and then I brought it down to a much steeper angle. We're going to take our flat razor blade and we're going to come in here and we're going to start removing some of these chunks. So if you have any area where you go down, maybe a smidgen too low, 
you have the ability to bring the height back up with a little piece of your sew foam. Now if you have it, you can use spray adhesive, which is probably a lot more convenient. I can't seem to find my spray adhesive. So I'm going to use this vinyl and fabric foam glue, which is, should be just as good. guys so for the next step I've got to start getting some staples in so I had to move this out to the garage just gonna slowly work my way around with this well that's the finished product you can't tell that anything's been changed See how she feels. So that's it guys. Quick easy fix on how to take this torture device of a seat for these Z900s and make it super comfortable for long distance ride or even just rides around town. From everything I've read, everybody's really been pleased with doing this upgrade to this seat, so I have no reason to doubt that that would be uh, comfortable seat over a long distance. Just sitting on it, I can definitely feel the difference. It's softer, and one of my concerns was I didn't want it to be too soft. I actually really like the shape of the seat and how you can sit down real low in this bike and just really corner well with it because it's got such a low center of gravity. So I really don't want to throw that off. So time will tell if it actually uh, is softer on the bum for a long ride. I don't know if it is or not, but anyway, thanks for watching Dirt Gear, and we'll see you next time.